Hello, in this video, I'm going over the setup of a Microsoft Operations Management Workspace. Hello, in this video, I'm going over how to set up and configure a Microsoft Operations Management Suite Workspace. So before we get started, a little history lesson. Uh, when this product first came out, it was called MMS, or Microsoft Management Suite. They changed the name to Operations Management Suite. Um, uh, that's the current version of it, but you will see the MMS logo come up every now and then. And what I'm focusing on this video is uh, the log analytics part of the Operations Management Suite. So with that, let's get started here. All right, as I said before, for this video, we're going to be installing an OMS workspace and the log analytics part and configuring log analytics to collect event logs. Um, before we get started though, there are three pricing categories for OMS. Uh, one is free, that's the one I'll be using. That has a limit of 500 megs of data per day with a seven day retention. There's also a standalone version with unlimited data, but you pay per gig with a one month uh, retention. And the third option is a per node with a set amount of data per node and then an overage rate for any data that you go over. Uh, for this, I will be, like I said, I will be using the free option. And one thing to note, if you're linking an Azure automation account with an OMS workspace, you cannot use the standalone version. You have to either go free or go to the per, per node. And in a future video, I will be showing you how to go over the, or how to link an Azure automation account. Let's get started with installing the OMS workspace. To begin with, I'm gonna come up here and search for log analytics. And I'm going to add a workspace. I'll create a new and we'll call this one OMS test. Let's see if that's available. Nope. So the OMS workspace name has to be globally unique. So let's try it with uh, a one. Nope. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna add this as Visual Studio subscription. And I'm gonna create a new resource group. One thing to note, if you do want to link your OMS workspace with an Azure automation account, and you may, it has to be in the same resource group. And I'll pick East US, pricing tier free, and click OK. So I'll give it a couple minutes to finish and that should install the OMS workspace. Okay, with that, we have successfully finished. Let's refresh. And you can see there's my OMS test 22. Okay, now that we're in the um, log analytics blade, you can see there's a few settings here. Um, actually, I'm gonna go right to this OMS portal and you can see here, this is, the link is um, mms.microsoft.com. I told you that would pop up every once in a while. <clears throat> here you can see it is blank. So over here on the left-hand side, you've got home. Um, you can add a view. There's a search button. There's a solutions gallery and usage. So this is being the free tier, you can keep track of your usage in this spot. Also up here is the settings tab. Now you can see on their solutions, the only solution I have is log search. Connected sources, this is gonna come in handy if when we add a non-Azure server for log analytics. You can see there's also information for Linux, Azure storage, system center, and telemetry information. Data, so here is where you can identify what type of logs you want to collect. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go in here and I wanna do uh, event logs uh, for application and system. So if I can see application logs, And 
and system. Now, if I didn't do that, I could add a server uh, to the Azure, uh, the uh, OMS workspace, but it wouldn't collect anything because I haven't defined what logs I want to collect. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different types of logs you can configure uh, for collection. But for this, I added the application and system, and I'm going to hit save. And that should save it. Yep, there it is. We've got computer groups. Um, I haven't created any yet. There's a few other settings in here that you can use as you get more advanced. Workspace information. You can configure alerts and preview features. So now if we go back to the OMS blade, you can see that a lot of the same, there we go. You can see a lot of the same uh, uh, items are here under the blade. So there's a repeat of a lot of the stuff. View designer and solutions. Oops. You can change your pricing tier, uh, usage. So it has a lot of the same information. And I believe that at some point, uh, this uh, this OMS, um, OMS window or uh, site will be depreciated and everything's gonna be rolled into Azure. But that's it. At this point, Microsoft OMS is installed and it's set up to collect event logs. Thanks for watching.